guys, it's Daryl here. It is Thursday. Happy Thursday. It's 4 a.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast. Um, this is kind of a short video, but I just want to talk about there's what looks like, I, I hope this is wrong, but what looks like a, a, a mutation maybe uh, of the coronavirus that affects children. And it's, it's getting more prevalent here in this area, um, New York, New England. Um, as of yesterday, I know I know Connecticut had five cases. Um, I, I'm not sure. I, I don't think the, the doctors or scientists are sure either if it's a mutation that affects children, a mutation of the coronavirus, or that the coronavirus, when children are exposed to it, sets off this thing. I, I believe it's called Kawasaki disease. I, I believe that's what it's called. And... Uh, the other theory is that maybe when uh, young children are exposed to the virus, um, it, it might not affect them, but it uh, activates uh, this, this other disease that uh, inflames the heart and blood vessels, I guess. Uh, you know, like I said, I'm not a doctor. I don't know a lot about it. But, you know, and I hope this is just a... Um, a random occurrence it's really I, actually i was that's what i was hoping that about a, two three weeks ago but it's it's starting to get more prevalent here i know there's uh there's two or three cases in hartford right now at a hartford hospital and there's two or three cases at a new haven hospital here in connecticut i, I believe we have five cases already here in connecticut of this and if i'm not mistaken there's 30 cases or more in New York City now, um, you know, and I hope this isn't the onset of a whole nother situation. Um, another thing I want to bring up, just yesterday, Trump got on TV and talked about he's encouraging schools to open up right away and get the kids back in for the last month or two. In Connecticut here, we're closed for the rest of the year. And luckily, we have a uh, governor that has been doing a great job. Very sensible. I'm sure. He, he, I think uh, our governor, uh, our Democrat governor, I think, I believe he's got a, about a 70, 75% approval rating as to the way he's handled this virus. And that means a good portion of even Trump supporters uh, think he's done a pretty good job with the coronavirus. Of course, I still see the occasional... Um, Facebook posts where people complain about everything and anything, but so Trump's talking about getting the kids right back in school, and he's saying, well, maybe the teacher, if the teachers are over sixty or sixty-five, they could stay out for the rest of the year. Which I'm glad to hear that Trump is at least saying something intelligent there. Um, I've thought about this recently, you know, because I'm suffering daily intense constant pain because I was supposed to have a hip replacement and it was canceled five days before the surgery but I realized that there's a lot of other people suffering too um I started thinking about the people that had dental issues I, I can't imagine having a toothache for two months and not being able to do anything about it but also I thought about these kids um can imagine kids that went all through school, elementary school, middle school, junior high school, high school, and they're looking forward to that prom and graduation. And I, I don't know, I'm, I don't have any children. I'm not really sure how that's going to be handled, but I'm pretty sure that's all canceled. I, I don't know if they're going to have some kind of um, uh, via, via, uh, computer version, uh, virtual um, version of their commencement um commencement commencement activities but uh i feel i feel bad for you know this comes once in a lifetime for these kids the prom and their graduation and um i thought about that the other day so um you know i i i complain uh, about my own situation but then I, I i realize too that there's a lot of other people that are uh, most people that are, are suffering greatly and missing out on once in a lifetime things because of this I, and then the people that were going to have weddings and all that 
But anyway, back to the schools. So Trump is talking about open ups, opening schools immediately. Now, I don't know if this uh, young, this version of the coronavirus or the Kawasaki virus, I don't know what the age exactly is. Um, it sounds like it's a, the young, younger, um, like under 10. Um, as a matter of fact, I know there was a 10 year old boy, I think that died in New York city. So, uh, it, it would affect, you know, sending, I don't, I, bottom line, sending these kids back to school, um, especially the younger ones. I, I, I don't think it's a, probably the best idea, um, right now. I mean, I hate, like I said, and the, the older ones, I, I, I hate to see these poor kids missing out on their, their prom and their, their commencement, um activities but um it it's 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 probably the only way to go about this but uh so anyway those are those are my thoughts on um trump coming on tv yesterday and talking about getting all these kids back in school asap immediately i mean as far as learning goes you know uh we all know may and june kids don't really learn anything it's just, it's about wrapping up the year a few tests and that's it. Um, any learning is already done. Uh, so I, I think, honestly, my opinion, I don't have kids, but my opinion is that uh, the dangers would far outweigh any, any uh, positives in sending kids back to school right now just for a month or two. And the dangers of, of uh, setting off some kind of second wave or, God forbid, this, uh, this coronavirus that, or Kawasaki virus that affects kids. Probably not the best idea. Um, just a thought. All right. You guys have a good Thursday.